Hello everybody on YouTube. If you guys are new to my YouTube channel, if you guys can please subscribe to my page. Kindly give my videos a thumbs up. Thank you and I really appreciate your guys' love and support. Now, tonight's video is called Medellin, Colombia and Colombia in general. Best way to save money on tours. Okay. Now, the reason I decided to test the subject tonight was for the simple fact that three years ago while I was in Colombia, when I was staying in Pereira, Colombia, um, as I was traveling from Pereira to Medellin, I started interacting with this guy who told me he was a taxi driver, you know, and at that moment we became friends. We, we, got, we got it off really good. So... We started like talking and then he told me whatever I needed that, you know, he's a taxi driver in Medellin. So I said to myself, this guy is pretty cool, you know. And um, I started telling him the places that I was interested in going to, which was Guatape, La Piedra de Peñón. And on top of that, La Hacienda Napolis. So he off top told me that to take me to Guatape, he would be charging me 300,000 pesos colombianos. Okay, which is around $100. Now, to take me to La Hacienda Napolis, he will be charging me 600,000 pesos colombianos, which is about $200. Now, me personally, I felt that, you know what I mean, the prices were kind of, a, you know what I mean, a little bit high. So, I decided to do my homework and I started asking around, okay? But um, before that... Um, his, his friend, the taxi driver, he gave me, um, the Pablo Escobar tour around the city of Medellin. So I paid around 150,000 and, um, everything was cool. You know what I mean? We got it off. Um, he showed me around everywhere. He showed me where Pablo Escobar got killed. He did the whole Pablo Escobar tour. So after that, um, we want to go pick up, um, this guy. That, you know what I mean? I, I talked to him, but it's not the same as before. We, you know, we want to go pick him up, his girlfriend up, and then we went to go eat at a restaurant. And um, I was about to pay for them, but they didn't want me to. They wanted to pay for me. And then, like, they thought they were kind of slick. And on in the table, I overheard them talking about that. You know what I mean? Not yet, not yet. Like, basically, they were getting me ready for the kill. And, and um, with, that, with the tours... Of La Hacienda Napolis and Watapec. But, you know what I mean? They thought I wasn't catching on to it. So, after that, you know what I mean? We left it at that. And then I went on my own way to do my research. And to go to La Hacienda Napolis, I got a tour for 128000 Okay? The 128000 consists of them bringing me from the city of Medellin to Puerto Triunfo. And from Puerto Triunfo back to Medellin, and on top of that, being in, in La Hacienda Napolis, I had access to the pools, and on top of that, they um, they feed me there, you know what I mean, one good meal, so off top, I would have ended up paying 600000 just for him to take me to La Hacienda Napolis, and on top of that, what I would have paid extra, you know what I mean, being there, okay, and then on top of that, I was able to get, okay, a tour to Guatapec for 69,000 pesos colombianos. Okay. There it is there. 69,000 pesos colombianos. You know what I mean? It comes with transportation, breakfast in the restaurant, typical Antioquia lunch and restaurants, visit the town of Marinilla, visit the town of Peñol, visit the replica village Peñol Viejo, visit La Piedra de Peñol, interest to climb the top you know what i mean you have to pay at that moment it doesn't come with the tour but at that at that moment it was fifteen thousand pesos colombianos now to climb the rock it is exactly eighteen thousand pesos colombianos which in reality is chump change okay walking tour watapec memory lane visit la plaza of socalos boardwalk central plaza boat cruise on watapec which is really nice Companion guide, medical assistance coverage, okay? And on top of that, when you go to La Hacienda Napolis, for you guys that are interested, okay, you will be getting one of these, okay? You will be getting one of these, and you cannot take it off for whatever the situation may be at all until, until the tour is done with, and, you know I mean, you're going back to Medellin, okay? 
On top of that, you get this booklet, this pathlet, okay? This is a big, big theme park. They have all types of activities for you. I'm going to be placing all the information on the bottom of the video so that that way you guys that are interested in going, you know what I mean, can start doing your research as we speak. This is La Hacienda Napolis. There's, there's all types of different activities. Now, there's two different types of pool areas, okay? For one, it comes with a package. Now, Las Cataratas de Victoria, now that, you have to pay 40,000. Um, I think at, at, at that moment, you could, you could pay 20,000 at that moment. And then you have access to the better pools, you know? So if you guys are actually thinking about going, trust me, you will not regret it. It is nice and worthy. There's lots to see. They have a Pablo Escobar tour up in there too. And you get to see um, where Pablo Escobar's um, house used to be. It's turned into rubbles. And then on top of that, from a good distance away, you get to see the strip where, you know what I mean, you used to bring drugs in and money in and you used to bring all those sexy models from Brazil and so forth and so forth. Okay? Now, if you guys see, okay, at that moment to go to Watapec to climb the rock, it was 15000 Okay? So you guys won't see that I'm, I'm lying or whatever. Now, it's 18000 just for the record. And on top of that, if you guys are interested in doing more high sophisticated tours in Colombia... Okay, La Guajira. I strongly recommend you guys trying this out. La Guajira, it comes with a lot. It comes with a lot, you know what I mean? And um, you kind of disconnect yourself from the, the, the environment, you know what I mean? You're just in your own turn and, and you get to, you know what I mean, witness other things that, you know what I mean, are not very common. Okay, on top of this, in Armenia, okay, El Parque El Café is a must. Okay, they show you how to... How to do coffee they got roller coasters there they got all kinds of little adventures for you and the um, prices vary when i was going there you know what i mean it was like 99,000 pesos colombianos but that's because it was low season but usually it's like around 200,000 you know what i mean pesos colombianos which is chump change if you think about it okay now this is the theme park for el parque el cafe okay I'm going to leave you guys a lot of um, numbers, websites, and stuff like that so you guys can check it out for yourselves, okay? Now, this pathlet, okay, is a big one, okay? I'm going to briefly go through it because, you know what I mean, we got other things to talk about, okay? We have um, Madre Laura Incluye Experiencia Cafetera, okay? Medellin Tango Show. The city tour for Medellin. Tour de Café al Alma Coffee Roasters. San Javier Comuna 13 tour. Okay. And the city tour in helicopter. And the one in airplane. I'm going to leave you guys the information on these links so you guys can check it out for yourselves. And um, I just want you guys to know that if you guys are planning on taking tours... Like, don't ever do business with some random person that walks up to you because there's a lot of schemers out there. And a lot of them know that you guys are not really hip or don't know the prices and stuff like that. And um, just as well as we got good people, we got people out there scheming. So, you know what I mean? I just want you guys to be up on game and be on point so that way you guys can get the best out of your journey and out of your trip in Colombia. That way you guys avoid the mind games, the headaches, and uh, the shitters and spitters. Okay, now Colombia has many, many things to offer you guys. Always make sure that before you make the final deal that you completely understand the package that is given to you and what's being offered to you. Okay, because we don't want you guys to have a shitty situation out there where you're just like, damn, like, you know, what I mean, this is not what I wanted. So please pay attention to everything that I'm telling you so that, that way when you guys go out there, you guys can hit the block in full effect, okay? Now, in front of the hotels, okay, for the most part, you'll be able to have, you know what I mean, pathlets, you know what I mean, like for El Eje Cafetero and these type of tours, and then you'll have this type, you know what I mean, that they'll have all kinds of different types of options for you guys, okay? Now, these more high sophisticated ones, okay, are from tours. Now, this, this agency of, of tours is for Pereira, okay? When I get to the city of Medellin, I have a lot, a lot in store for you guys. So, you know what I mean? I'm going to be bringing up more information so that way you guys can be hip to game. And, and that way when you guys go out there to places like Medellin and other departments of Colombia, you're taking care of on all aspects. Okay? Now, 
If you guys have any questions, any suggestions, please make sure to leave them on the video below and I will be getting back to you as soon as possible. We're trying to get this video up to 1,000 likes. So if you guys can please smash that thumbs up button, it's gonna really help my channel grow. And you're going to be supporting El Paisa Medellin Life, okay? And um, if you guys are new to my YouTube channel, if you guys can please subscribe to my channel. Kindly give my videos a thumbs up. And please make sure to subscribe for more videos. I have a lot of good videos about Medellin, okay? And Colombia in general. Good night, guys. God bless you guys. Stay safe and take care. Bye-bye until next time. Peace.